Well, start respecting the environment and animals. Start realizing that it's our foolish, greedy, selfish behavior. It's our materialistic lifestyle, or it's the desperation of poverty that have created these conditions. It's the main message of Roots and Shoots, which I think is for everybody, that every day we live, we make a difference. And when people say, what can I do? I say, well, think about the consequences of the choices you make each day. What do you buy? Where does it come from? Did it harm the environment, cruelty to animals, just child slave labor? And if everybody makes ethical choices, that at least begins to move us towards a better world. But the problem is to get enough people making ethical choices, you've got to alleviate poverty. Because if you're really poor, you can't, you don't have the luxury of making a choice. You, you just have, have other to priorities. Buy the that's, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, in, in, in recent months, Jane Goodall, you've been outspoken about the current coronavirus pandemic, saying that we humans have brought this crisis on ourselves. Mm. Why did you say that? I say that because it's been predicted for a very long time by people studying these so called zoonotic diseases that are viruses and bacteria that jump from animal to human. And by destroying forests, animals are brought into contact with each other much more than they would normally be, which helps the virus or the bacteria to jump from one animal to another. We've pushed some animals into closer contact with people, and so that's another opportunity for viruses to jump ship. And then there's the trafficking. You know, you, you catch animals and you ship them around the world and you sell them in meat markets, the, the, the bush meat markets of Africa, the wild animal markets of Asia. And these markets where different animals are crowded together in unhygienic conditions, it's perfect for these diseases to jump. I mean, it's ideal for them. If you could change one thing, then what would it be? Well, start respecting the environment and animals. Start realizing that it's our foolish, greedy, selfish behavior. It's our materialistic lifestyle, or it's the desperation of poverty that have created these conditions. But also the factory farms in our countries, they should not be allowed to continue. They harm the environment, billions of animals, needing to be fed, clear the environment to grow the grain to feed them, use fossil fuels to get the grain to the animals, the animals to the abattoir, the meat to the table, waste water changing vegetable to animal protein, and then animals produce methane gas in their digestion, like we all do, but the, these are billions of animals <laughs> adding to yes. the greenhouse gases. You know, they're not only terribly cruel, but they're very environmentally destructive. And so we need to have no more wild animals sold in these wildlife meat markets. We have, we have to stop this treatment of domestic animals who are individuals with personalities. And, you know, pigs, for example, just one example. Pigs are as intelligent mm. as dogs. And I always tell people to Google, not Picasso the artist, but Pig Casso. And the number of people who've Googled Pig Casso and told me they'll never eat bacon again is amazing. So, you know, when you, <laughs> when you want to change people's minds, get to the heart. It's such a good message.